Good morning, folks. We've got a quiet sun, but lots of activity everywhere else. Weather, top science news from the moon out into deep space. Let's begin at spaceweathernews.com and find the last 24 hours on our star about what you would expect without any sunspots. Calm, quiet. We do see those coronal holes on the south, but they are sparse and likely modest to low power anyway. We've seen some modest variability in the solar wind, but it's doing so all in very quiet range. We're all calm in geospace and in Earth's magnetic field. Nothing is calm in the Middle East. Yemen, Oman, UAE, all taking a pounding as horrendous flooding continues. Dozens swept away, including a family of six. The other worst weather is at Earth's conjugate point, the United States. The snow, the cold, Brutal on the western side of a system, unleashing tornadoes like crazy on its eastern side. Eyes open again tonight. So folks, there is another story piggybacking on that recent bit about a moon collision, except this time it is the Earth collision that created the moon. Delivered the water to our planet, they say, and they say it was an intruding planet from deep out in space. Now as fun as that might be to imagine, we are lucky enough to have Hawaii coming to the well-reasoned rescue this morning. It was this same team out of Hawaii that helped solidify the star water hypothesis in demonstrating solar wind water production, and they're doing it again here on the moon. Folks, this is the primary water production mechanism of the universe. Solar wind hydrogen hitting oxygen-rich rock, liberating that oxygen, and the rest is water. Let's go out a bit further and find a disk edge on. They say that we are lucky enough to be seeing the gaps along the line here as less dense portions of that disk structure, and they envision there being multiple planets and multiple rings in this system still coming together. Pretty nice paper out describing some of the issues with dwarf galaxies and dark matter and how they appear to be fighting one another, how they have no clue if what they seek in terms of dark matter is inside of galaxies or outside in the vastness. It's an excellent point. And last but not least, the two kings of cosmic animation are back with a bigger team and better visuals. Some of the best we've seen since their previous works, and you may have heard of Lanny Ikea and the Dipole Repeller. Yeah, they're back. This time focusing on the local void. Big ups to the entire team, but especially Tully and Pomeray. They have delivered some of the greatest visualizations this community has ever seen, and in their paper you will find links to an 11 minute full explanatory video, as well as click, drag, zoom, 3D tools for you as well. And of course, the paper does a good job explaining the local void and its effects on our local neighborhood. We greatly appreciate your support. We've got wind maps and shots of our star to close, and we'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now it's 5.15 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.